Hello students, in today's video we will discuss a very general but important topic that is probiotics and prebiotics. We will discuss the concept of probiotics, prebiotics and symbiotics and we will try to understand their role in regulating balance of gut microflora thereby strengthening immunity and overall well-being of the body. Now as we know that uh, various type of microorganisms called as gut flora are inhabitants of human gastrointestinal tract. Now majority of these microorganisms live in the large intestine that is the colon and majority of gut bacteria are non-pathogenic that means they are beneficial and they aid in the metabolism of nutrients, drugs and they prevent colonization of pathogenic microorganisms. That means they prevent growth of pathogenic bacteria and strengthen immunity of the body. Now, most of these microorganisms are beneficial. For example, Bifidobacterium and Lactobacillus. But some of them are harmful. For example, Salmonella species, Helicobacter pylori, Clostridium perfringens, etc. Now, probiotics are microbial preparations, either live cultures or lyophilized powders of beneficial bacteria that are intended to restore and maintain gut flora. Now, one of the natural uh, source of probiotics is the yogurt, which consists of lactobacilli. Now, probiotics produce uh, lactic acid, hydrogen peroxide, and natural antibodies that inhibit pathogenic bacteria. Now, they enhance digestion and absorption of nutrients, water, and electrolytes. Now, uh, some of these beneficial bacteria synthesize vitamin K, biotin, vitamin B12, folic acid, and thymine. Now, by regulating balance of gut microflora, these probiotics, they regulate bowel movements and thereby they provide relief to the patient from constipation as well as diarrhea. Now, probiotics significantly reduce antibiotic associated diarrhea, acute infective diarrhea and the risk of traveler's diarrhea. Now, very important to note and very important to understand that dietary fibers which are actually indigestible carbohydrates found in the dietary sources are chief source of energy for the growth of beneficial microorganisms in the gut. That means these beneficial microorganisms in the gut they depend on dietary fibers as a source of energy. They require dietary fibers for their growth. Now these dietary fibers are found in dietary sources like asparagus, garlic, then chicory, onion, wheat, honey, bananas, barley, tomato, soya bean, peas, beans, etc. These are the foodstuffs, these are the dietary sources uh, which have very high content of dietary fibers. Now, intestinal microbial flora ferments indigestible carbohydrates or the dietary fibers to short chain fatty acids such as acetate, propionate and butyrate. Now these short chain fatty acids which are produced by these beneficial bacteria are very useful for the body. So prebiotics are defined as indigestible or low digestible uh, carbohydrates that is the dietary fibers that selectively stimulate the growth of beneficial bacteria or the growth of probiotics in the colon. Now uh, let's uh, see to the classification of uh, prebiotics uh, that is the classification of uh, prebiotics or dietary fibers or indigestible carbohydrates found in the dietary sources. So classification of prebiotics uh, these are classified as uh, disaccharides oligosaccharides, polysaccharides, then uh, commonly used prebiotics are lactulose, galacto-oligosaccharides, uh, fructo-oligosaccharides, then inulin and its uh, hydrolysates, then malto-oligosaccharides and trans-galacto-oligosaccharides. Uh, 
now end products of uh, prebiotics now uh, as we have understood that uh, beneficial bacteria in the GIT uh, that is uh, specifically in the colon use dietary fibers as a source of energy and they convert these dietary fibers into short chain fatty acids short chain fatty acids namely butyrate propionate and acetate now these short chain fatty acids uh, they are very beneficial for the body now let's see the uh, to the beneficial effects of uh, prebiotics now cells of the colon derive 60 to 70 percent of their energy from short chain fatty acid oxidation now these uh, short chain fatty acids they exhibit anti-inflammatory effect in the gut that means they prevent inflammation in the gut now since uh, they regulate uh, bowel movements they reduce the incidence of diarrhea and since they are anti-inflammatory they improve symptoms of uh, inflammatory diseases like uh, ulcerative colitis Crohn's disease etc now uh, these uh, short chain fatty acids they strengthen the gastrointestinal tract uh, they strengthen the immunity of gut and therefore they reduce the risk of colon cancer now these uh, short chain fatty acids they pass into the bloodstream uh, travel to other organs and they mediate better sugar control and diabetes they regulate fat metabolism by enhancing fat burning and reducing fat storage so these dietary foods uh, they are very useful in weight loss now these dietary foods they uh, reduce overall inflammation of the body or short chain fatty acids they reduce overall inflammation of the body thereby reducing risk of heart diseases now limitations of short chain uh, fatty acids there is very little scientific evidence on the effectiveness of short chain fatty acids supplements and therefore increasing the amount of high fiber food in the diet is the best option to maintain healthy gut and a healthy body uh, now let's uh, understand uh, the concept of uh, symbiotic now a mixture of probiotic and prebiotic is called as symbiotic now this combination is a synergistic combination and uh, for example uh, bifidobacteria uh, that is a beneficial bacteria and uh, fructo oligosaccharide so this is uh, uh, the probiotic this is the dietary fiber that is the prebiotic another example of symbiotic is the lactobacillus rhamnosus and galacto oligosaccharide now this combination is a uh, synergistic combination and this mixture is a a uh, beneficial mixture as it consists of a beneficial microorganism along with the nutrient required for the growth of microorganism so it improves the survival of microorganism in the gut now uh, these uh, symbiotics uh, they provide nutrition to the uh, colonocytes that is the cells of colon uh, they exhibit anti-inflammatory effect in the gut and since they regulate the bowel movement they reduce the incidence of diarrhea and as they provide anti-inflammatory effect in the gut they improve symptoms of uh, inflammatory bowel disease and since they strengthen immunity of uh, GIT they reduce the risk of colon cancer they may also support systemic immune development and modulation that means they may also improve overall immunity of the body so this is in brief on the concept of uh, probiotics prebiotics and symbiotics if you find the video useful kindly like subscribe and share this video thanks for watching this video